I'm Eddie Cannell. And I'm Tom Cannell. Welcome, everyone. This is the Mortgage Brothers Podcast Show, and today we're going to go over what, Tom? Yeah, one of our favorite topics, the, what is the loan limit today for conventional financing? Because of how important the loan dollars are. The more loan dollars we have available to us, the more options we have as buyers. So there's a, a loan amount limit every, typically every year we've get, we've received updates and this is from Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. They'll update the loan amounts for conventional financing. And we just received a preliminary, not the official update, but a preliminary update for conventional loans. And that loan limit is going up to $802,000 for a, a one unit, like a single family residence, a million dollars for a two unit, uh, 1.2 million for a three unit, and $1.5 million for a, a four-unit complex. Yeah, so basically all of our single-family homes are considered one units. It's just, you know, one family, whether you're a single person or whether you're a you know, mother or father or you've got children, don't have children, that's a one unit. Then they have the duplexes. Those are the two units and the triplexes are the three units and the um, fourplexes. There's no quad, they don't call it quadplex. They probably should. Yeah, the fourplex. They, yeah. just, they just call it boring yeah. fourplex. But, I mean, these numbers are really big. We just went over them very quickly. But if you stop and you look from a historical perspective, which we'll show you here in a little bit, just how big these numbers are. That's right. Okay, and again, this is just preliminary. There will be an official update, an announcement. This is We have, a, we have access to this loan right now, this new limit now. But in the, probably the first week of December, that's when Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac will officially update and you know, the new number. Yeah, so basically what's happening is the lenders we work with are so big, they actually open up lines and allow them to kind of get ahead of the market a little bit by saying, we know Fannie and Freddie are going to do this, so we're going to do it now. So even though it's not official, it is pretty official because if we do an application as of today, we're going to be able to offer this, uh, this new loan limit. Yeah, it, so the new limit is 4.7%, almost 5% uh, increase from last year. So this is going to be the 2025 preliminary, uh, so about 802000 And this is the history of the conventional loan limit. Now, trying to make this simple, you'll see these layers here. This is the layers for the four unit, like the fourplex the triplex, the duplex, and the single family. So this look at this one unit yeah, history. Most people will be focusing on that one unit. So yeah, but you can just see this is the history of, from 1980 uh, through 2024. But the idea is this, this, this increase in conventional loan limits is following the appreciation of real estate over, you know, all those years. And how many years is that? I, that is 24 years or yeah, 44 years. Yeah, look like, look at this. So from 1980, it was $93,000 compared to today at over 800000 That's an 800% increase yeah. in the last, um, yeah, what do you say, 44 years. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's staggering. If you were to tell your grandpa that or your grandmother, they'd say you're crazy. Yeah. I mean, and now, now usually it's a, the increase was happening every year. Uh, sometimes there would be a pause for two years or, th or so, but it was during the Great Re right after the Great Recession, or actually it was 2006, so right before the Great Recession. Th so from 2006 to 2016, the conventional loan limit actually was unchanged, and that's because the market had um, experienced depreciation. So the the uh, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac decided let's not change. But yeah, they, what they, they, they probably should have done. They didn't done, decrease. They, they probably should have like lowered it. If you yeah. remember, your taxes went down. A lot of your real estate taxes went down because values were going down. Now, no one really loves taxes going down because it means your values went down. But I do remember, you know, a couple of people excited about that. But it was very serious back then. So we are lucky that the loan amounts weren't actually adjusted down. So they were at 417 forever. This is a quick view. And since 2016 to 2024, you can kind of see the annual... Uh, the, in this yellow column, you're going to see the the one unit, right? The single family limits for over those years, um, and then I this is actually looking at 90, 1995 to 2006 because this was the ne next period I wanted just to show you all, and you could pause this and take a look at it. If yeah, you want. so it's so interesting. So so almost a ten year period, it doubled. It went from two hundred thousand some change to over four hundred thousand. And then we leapfrog that stagnant 10-year, you know, mm -hmm. no increase 
a duration. And then we go to 2016 to 2024, and there's almost another double there. Yeah, 2016, uh, really the beginning of, that's the beginning. The January of 2016, it was 417 still. But now the 2025 limit is 802. So yeah, it's really close to that double. Now, what does this mean for uh, purchasing power? In 2024, you could purchase a house for 806000 put 5% down, and you'd be at the maximum conventional loan limit. This year, with 2020, or well, in 2025, or right now, you could buy a house for 844000 and put 5% down and be at the new conventional loan limit. So it gives $38,000 more purchasing power. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't have the numbers on, t- on the top of my head, but I just quoted a borrower 3% down. Mm-hmm. And as I was running the numbers, it was incredible to me that they could, I think it was like $825,000 purchase price. They only had to put 3% down. Yeah. And they still were in the conforming loan limit. That's a good point. I had to do it like twice. It's like, what? How can that be? Yeah. Remember that you do not need 5% down. And that's not the minimum down. The minimum down on conventional is actually 3%. But you know, there's but a lot of people still have it in their mind that it's five, but three percent down is possible. But Tom, you you did mention something too. This is the first time ever in history that you could buy a million dollar house, put twenty percent down, and, and get still, a conventional and still loan. be within conventional loan. And why did we talk about the twenty percent down? A lot of our borrowers are hitting that mark because they don't want to have to pay PMI. So typically, it's either minimum down, which is three or five percent, or people stretch for that twenty. So yeah, think about it. Yeah. You can buy a million dollar home, put that standard 20% down and still be in conforming loan limit levels. If you have a loan scenario, a home purchase or refinance you'd like us to look at, be sure to get in touch with us. You can email us, put a comment in here. would be happy to help. All right. Hey, thanks a lot, folks.